Welcome along to our little sustainable farm. Check out the lavender. When we first moved in, we planted small little lavender plants all around the house. And within three years, it has grown to this massive like a lavender euphoria around here. And the bees absolutely love it. And they make such beautiful honey with it. This episode, I'm going to show you how to make lavender sugar, and we're also going to make a lavender shortbread using the lavender sugar. You're going to really love this one. There are so many amazing things that you can make with lavender. Lavender soap, lavender ice cream. We also love drying it in big bunches so we can have it throughout the house for the winter time. One of my favorite things to do though is to make a lavender sugar, which is absolutely fantastic in baking. So I'm gonna show you how you can do that today. I'm excited to show you all how to make lavender sugar. It's so simple and it is so beautiful in baking and making ice creams. So for every 100 grams of caster sugar, you need one tablespoon of lavender leaves. And this, the scent of this is so amazing. It's quite strong. So that's why you only need, you know, one tablespoon for every 100 grams because it will really infuse and perfume. Grab your stems, it's probably about enough. And then just remove the beautiful flowers from the stalk. Oh my God, my fingers smell so beautiful from just rubbing it. So when you've got your lavender petals, chop them up nice and finely. scent is so calming <laughs> and then you get a jar of caster sugar this is just regular caster sugar fill it about three quarters of the way there's a hundred grams in this for the one tablespoon of lavender leaves and then you just pop it in and the reason why you only fill it three quarters of the way is because you need space to be able to shake it and also for the lavender to go in really good shake. You can see all the lavender being dispersed throughout the whole cast of sugar. And then you allow that to infuse, but it only takes about one or two days to infuse and you get the most beautifully scented lavender sugar like this one. I'm so sorry you can't smell it because if you did you'd be like I'm gonna make that straight away. It's so beautiful in so many different things. I love making shortbread cookies or biscuits with them which I'm gonna make later on in this episode but it's also beautiful for lavender and honey ice cream for if you're making a beautiful sponge. It gives such a wonderful sweet aromatic flavour to it and it's very delicate so it's not overpowering it's absolutely beautiful and it makes a really lovely prezi I'm going to show you how to make beautiful shortbread biscuits they are a cinch to make you just need butter caster sugar lavender caster sugar if possible and some flour they're as simple as that so into a mixer i'm popping in my butter and then next goes in the lavender caster sugar if you do have it if you have made it and then you just want to mix those together until it becomes lovely and creamy takes a few minutes The sugar and the butter has creamed together and then I'm just going to slowly tip 
the flour into the mix. Bring up the speed a bit and you want to bring it all together until you get a lovely dough. That's it. That's the dough made. It takes about three minutes. It starts off looking a little bit breadcrumb like when it starts mixing together and you're thinking, oh my God, is this going to come together? And then just keep mixing it. And then all of a sudden it comes together like a dough like this. And then I use two baking sheets or greaseproof paper. You pop one down and then you pop your dough into the center. then shape it out to the shape of the paper because we're going to roll it down a little and then I've got my rolling pin and then just roll it out. This is the most simple way to roll out your biscuit dough. That's it. Take the grease for the paper off. I quite like to cut them off into little triangles because then you don't actually lose any part of it. Now what I would suggest when you've got all your cookies all cut out is to pop this into the fridge for about 20 minutes even just to get them lovely and chilled because you will get a lovely buttery biscuity kind of crunch from it when they're lovely and chilled so they go into the fridge and then into the preheated oven for eight to ten minutes you want them lovely and light and golden and then they come out looking like this so you want it light and golden around the edge like this but still kind of pale on the inside and then you pop them up onto a cake stand or into your biscuit tin and then you get your lavender sugar again and you sprinkle it over smell of that lavender sugar is so beautiful. I'm not sure I have another recipe that is as easy as this. Will I taste it? Of course. Mmm. Mmm, 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 mmm. It's buttery, it's crumbly, the beautiful hint of lavender throughout it which works so well in the shortbread because the shortbread can really take a lovely pungent flavor like the lavender. Definitely try this one. It is foolproof. Our beetroot is ready to be harvested. So next week, I'm gonna be picking them into jars so that we have them throughout the winter months. And I'm also gonna show you how to make beautiful herby salt rubs, which are fantastic for roasting fish, vegetables, and meats. I'll see you then.